Hello everyone and welcome to the 10th video in our survival game series done by Brackies. I am the CEO of Brackies and today we are going to take a look at the tree generation tool in Unity and overall just pimping up the terrain. So if we go ahead and open up Unity, um, let's start out by simply uh, making our project pane look a little better. Um, so right click create folder and we could call this materials and select all of the materials and simply drag them and we could also make one for the textures again new folder and call it textures and drag each and every one of the textures right so um if we go ahead and right click in the project pane and then import asset and then import the um tree creator it's gonna go ahead and import everything we need this can take a little while depending on the complexity of your project right so now we are pretty much ready to get started so um first of all you can see that we have a new option under the terrain called refresh tree and detailed prototypes and if we go ahead and inspect the folder that is now in our project pane so double click the standard assets you can see that we have a folder called tree creator and in here is a big tree which is already generated. So if I drag this in, you can see it looking pretty good. And if we select it, you can see how it was built in the right hand side in the hierarchy. I'll go ahead and delete this once again. And um, if we go back into the tree creator, you can see our different sources, the materials, some leaves and some textures all right so um we could go ahead and um, simply make a new tree so go to game object create other and then tree and now you can start to see all of the details we can change all of the attributes that we can simply change inside of unity and the tree will react in the scene so if we go ahead and drag this out a bit and zoom in on it by selecting it in the scene view and hitting F um, so we get a good look. First of all, in the right hand side in the inspector window, we have a slider called the tree seed and you can see the value here is pretty huge. That's because this is simply um, the number that defines which kind of randomly generated tree we are going to use. So if I just drag this along, um, Unity is going to create all the different kinds of trees that can emerge from the randomized settings that we have set. So if I take the... Um, uh, if I mess with some of these settings, um, then this will also change. So this is simply the seed that is going to change once we create a lot of different trees. All right. So um, you can go ahead and manipulate some of these settings. For now, I will leave them be. Um, the interesting parts come when we start to select the branch itself so this is a branch group um, and here's the branch node itself so if we select this and look over in the scene view you can see this purple line going through the tree and these different squares on the way the squares are waypoint for the um, generation of the tree so simply these can be moved these can be selected and dragged so and um, by doing this we can create our own kind of shape 
So you can simply manipulate these as you would with any other game object and we can create trees all on our own. So again we have a group seed. We have a frequency of how many trees are going to be spawned inside of the, if we select the other node, the tree root node, inside of the area spread. So simply how many trees are going to be spawned inside of this variable. Um, so that's the frequency. And um, let's pump it up so we can get something uh, like a group of smaller branches. Um, the distribution, meaning how they are going to be planted, um, whether it's going to be completely random, whether it's going to be on a straight line, um, if it's going to make cross, uh, a cross or um, other kinds of shapes. So um, that is something, again, to play around with. The growth scale uh, simply is how long the different trees are going to get. The growth angle, as you can see, simply rotates the trees based on their lowest point, the little circle. Alright, so um, moving on, we, can, we have the geometry category, and if we crank up and down the LOD multiplier, see if I can get this working, uh, not really, I guess this will do then. Um, you know what, uh, let's leave this as is for now. Um, so let's go ahead and move on to the material. So here I have just loaded up some of the basic, uh, some of the materials in um, my scene, in my project pane. Um, let's try with the big tree branch. This comes with the tree generator and you can create some on your own or download some from the asset store. So as you can see, um, this creates a texture and a material and it is completely tileable so it will figure out the UVing itself. Um, so that's pretty handy. Um, the break material will uh, ignore that for now. The length, the length of the branches um, without affecting the uh, max point. We have the relative length so um, that uh, changes the way they scale. And if we just drag out some of the arrows, we can change how big uh, the difference between how big they can get. So that's simply simply the difference. All right, so remember all these settings are based on the fact that these are randomly generated. The radius, how wide are the trays going to be? And the cap smoothing, how smooth, the crinkliness, the twirling, the seek sun. Um, I think that this is going to help them yeah, simply point towards the sun. Um, a little bit of curliness, um, the noise, again twirling. And the scaling of the noise. And we have the break chance. So this was, will help out if your computer is having difficulty. And the wind, if you want to apply wind zones. But for now, we'll leave this be. So um, that's basically the generate a uh, general idea of creating trees and branches. Now let's go ahead and create some leaves. So if we take down the frequency, but bring up the scale, so the overall length and the width. Let me see the radius here. You can get some bigger trees that might have leaves. And if we go into uh, at the top of the hierarchy <coughs> you can create a leaf group 
So just let the computer think for a minute. And there you go. So we can select our leaves and we can go down and give them a material. So go under the materials and then select a leaf material. This one is all right. And we can go ahead and increase the size or what <laughs> the size hmm i'm ha i'm having some trouble uh convert to procedural yeah okay so the groups were in procedural um i might have edited them by hand um by mistake so if you get that, simply click that you want them to be procedural. So now we can change the frequency to create more leaves. And we can go ahead and change the material to make them look pretty. There you go. And um, okay, this will need some tweaking. Um, so if again, all ha hand editing should not be. Um, we can distribute them just like the trees uh, in different ways. I'll just choose random though. And we can change the size of the leaves, the alignment, and the wind, the, the turbulence of the leaves. All right. So that's how you create leaves. Um, so by now, for now, I'll go ahead and delete these leaves once again by selecting them in the hierarchy and pressing the trash can. And now we can go ahead and create a new branch group. like this. So this allows us to create branches on the base of our tree. And we'll select again the branch, big tree branch material. Working uh, with the tree, tree generator can be a little slow though. Okay, so let's play around with the frequency. I want this to be pretty low. And the distribution. I think this could be random. Yeah, this this looks pretty good. Um, the length, again, play around with this. And again, all these settings are now the same, um, except they are emitting from the branch, uh, the main branch itself. So we could go ahead and select our um, the circles and move the branches up and down this way so we can get them to be at the top of the tree like this and this allows us to um, if we go ahead and oh convert to the procedural bump up the frequency a bit make the um, make them point upwards so play around with the different kinds of spread at the bottom to make it look better and pl and the crinkleness the seek sun so we can make them point upwards and yeah this looks pretty good so now we could go ahead and edit them by hand so we won't have all the branches at the bottom. All right. So now on top of this, we can create a leaf group. And now we can crank up the frequency quite a bit to, to change the material. And there we go. So now the trees look a lot better. Play around with it until you find something you really like. 
and um, and there you go. That's how to use the tree generator in Unity. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you haven't already checked out our website, it's looking really good. Um, I'll just open it up so you can see it. So we have a lot of different things here. There are still some minor bugs that needs to be fixed. Basically, it syncs with everything, our Facebook, our Twitter. So it's a good place to stay, uh, stay in tune. We, I have a blog going where I write about some of the news on our site and our learning network in general. Also, some of the news on our games. And um, there you can all, all already download uh, all of our games. If we go to the portfolio, you can see you can download Kill Pill and see now is the game. And also, if we go under the Create a Survival Game Tutorial series, um, you can read about it, you can watch it, and you can, of course, download all the assets that I create um, outside of the videos, the scripts that I type also. So everything that we use that isn't created inside of Unity itself and isn't a, uh, and, um, is a script um, or a, a model or anything like that, you can download it as a raw file and simply use it for whatever you want. Um, it's completely free, so go ahead and do that if you have trouble keeping up. And also we have added a donate function if you want to just buy me a cup of coffee. So um, that was it for now. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.